I want to start with this. With the holiday season now officially underway and 2024 waiting in the wings, I'm talking about the election, I can't help but think about what's to come for the country and if our military is up for the many challenges this new year will undoubtedly bring. You know, we are watching our standing in the world on the world stage become weaker by the day, but it's by choice. The Biden administration's timid, politically correct, risk-adverse approach to the so many world challenges are putting all of our lives at risk, in my view. Our military-industrial bases have become depleted to the point where our country is now scrambling for weapons for our allies and even for ourselves. Do you know we're witnessing a recruiting crisis like never before? you got the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, all expecting to fall short again this year, like they have the last couple of years, not by a few hundred, but by thousands. In fact, the Army's having such a hard time recruiting, they're asking those soldiers who they booted, dismissed for refusing to take the COVID-19 vaccine, to come on back. You think they will? I wouldn't blame them if they didn't. The Pentagon failing a financial audit for the sixth straight year. Really? Yet instead of figuring out their finances and how to get cash for their weapons, it's a for-profit business, nothing to be afraid of or to make excuses for. The Defense Department is planning to drop nearly $270 million of your funds to further the diversity, equity, and inclusion agenda, also known as DEI, for the next two years. So it's no coincidence that we are seeing rising threats from rogue nations across the world and are now reuniting against us. Think about it. China playing the long game, developing themselves into a scary world power that needs to be confronted. Russia, more unpredictable than ever, after starting a grinding war with Ukraine. They're not going to stop there. Iran fueling terrorists like groups like Hamas, Hezbollah, their many militias, and they're targeting our troops on a daily basis, all while covertly efforting to become a nuclear power. You haven't forgotten about that, have you? China remains our number one threat, and now they have partners. And here's the good news. We have more friends and we have more firepower. I think it's time we formulate a plan, activate our allies and show the world we are the world's number one superpower and want to remain there. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.